Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Pentaprism 90 degree prism diagonal. Now, this is a little bit of a unique product for us. It was developed for our new linear, uh, the premium linear bino viewer. When you use the bino viewer in a standard star diagonal, you get a, an upside down image, which is totally fine for astronomy, but if you want to use it for terrestrial viewing, that's a little awkward to try to view the distant mountains or the ship going by upside down. Enter the um, pentaprism. So you put this into a refractor, a Cassegrain, a Mac, and then put the bino viewer into this, and then you get a fully correct image view with two eyes through your telescope. So a very handy uh, accessory to have with the bino viewer. Now it's not just useful for the bino viewer itself. If you wanted to use this as a standard, as a star diagonal in any telescope with just an eyepiece, you certainly can. It works a little differently than your average uh, star diagonal or even correct image prism. Uh, normally, when you use a standard star diagonal, you get a reversed image. It'll be upright, but it'll be reversed. And if you use a correct image prism, everything is completely correct, but you don't really want to use a correct image prism for astronomy because of that line, that edge of the prism that runs down the length of any correct image diagonal. It introduces some uh, diffraction in the star field, so sometimes you see bright spikes coming off of stars. Well, you don't have that problem with this one. You put this into your refractor, your Cassegrain, you put an eyepiece in, it will be upside down. Remember, we're not using this with a bino viewer now, we're just using it with an eyepiece. It'll be upside down, but it will not be a mirror image. So you might think that still would be confusing for astronomy, but an upside down image, if you're comparing it to your star chart, actually is easy. You just rotate your star chart around, and now you've got the exact same image in the view through the eyepiece with this uh, pentaprism as you do on the star chart. So no more like mental gymnastics trying to look at the moon with a uh, correct image star diagonal and seeing, um, I'm sorry, with a uh, standard star diagonal getting a, a mirror image and then trying to reverse the image from what you see on the star map. That gets very confusing. This would be upside down, rotate your moon map around and everything lines up exactly as you see it on the chart. Let me talk about some of the specs of the uh, pentaprism itself. Uh, first of all, it, it is a diagonal, so there's some back focus requirements. The light has to go through this thing and bounce around in there. So it's got 120 millimeters of back focus requirement. That means, what, what's 120 millimeters? Like 4.7, 4.5 uh, inches. Your refractor and your cast grain should have no problem with that because they're designed to be used with uh, diagonals. But if you want to make sure, you need 120 millimeters of back focus to use this prism. It weighs 8.6 ounces. It's threaded for filters on the front. It's got the compression lock system up top, which is everybody's favorite new system, not the set screw digging into the barrel of the eyepiece. So it grabs the eyepiece evenly all the way around and keeps it centered. The prism itself, if I was to open this up, you'd see that penta prism, the, the five-sided prism, I guess seven sides if you count the, the sidewalls. Uh, two of the, the reflecting surfaces are dielectric coated, and the two uh, transmission surfaces are broadband multi-coated. So you get a nice, crisp, clear, bright image to your eye. You're not really losing much light transmission through the thing. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion Pentaprism, primarily designed for the Orion Premium uh, linear bino viewer, but like I said, also can be used in a uh, standard telescope with an eyepiece to view the sky. Thank you very much. Clear skies.